All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today we're going to be looking at NeuronWriter again um, as you guys voted on this being the next video. So I'm gonna bring this one to you. It's fitting because NeuronWriter just hit AppSumo again. I'm hearing rumors that they're gonna be there the rest of the year. I don't know how true that would be. Uh, I'll see if I can reach out um, to find out at least kind of a timeline if they're going to be back for a month, two months, or in fact, if they're going to be back the rest of the year. But you definitely want to pick this tool up. It's one of my favorite tools I've ever purchased on AppSumo. And in this uh, video, we're going to be specifically looking at the SEO features um, in this NeuronWriter SEO tutorial. So uh, we're not maybe not going to do everything although this is an SEO tool, but we're really going to look at the different uh, features that how you would use this from an, uh, an SEO standpoint, uh, we can optimize our content and so forth. But really, we want to look at all the different capabilities that it has in order to, to get you to rank your content higher. So um, th with that said, let's go and look at a couple of um, housekeeping first uh, items, and then we'll come back in and do the tutorial. So um, we're right over here, I wanted to look at some of the reviews coming in like fresh reviews, I also want to look at the roadmap. Okay. So when you come down here, um, we've got, you know, cu happy customers, they bought five codes last year, this time they're going to stack two more codes loving neuron writer. So if this tool was not living up to the hype, um, then and holding a certain standard, then people wouldn't be coming back and buying two more codes after they already stacked five codes right here, spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars in the software. Um, and then we can come down here. Um, they did add the the WordPress integration and Chrome extension are available, uh, just an FYI. Um, so this one right here, almost as good as Surfer SEO, uh, but just uh, so much better priced. Um, they have the diamond package definitely recommended to everyone. Um, so good stuff. Uh, this one right here, I really like these kind of things. Um, as a long time user, a phrase, Copymatic, Surfer SEO, uh, but when uh, they looked at NeuronWriter on the first site, they purchased five codes at a time and also um, they're back. Uh, I'm, I'm so glad I did. Within just a couple of days, NeuronWriter has already proven to be a superior tool in the market and it's continually improving its features also. It's helped me focus on my writing and it's incredibly easy to figure out what to include in my titles, mid tags and H1, H2s, as well as um, which keywords to target along with target on which competitor for getting uh, best results. And right here, it really helps to rank my articles in search engines. It's insane overall. I'm extremely satisfied with uh, NeuronWriter and would highly recommend it to anyone looking for a powerful and effective writing tool. So, uh, and then the re reviews, and these are fresh reviews in March. So, um, and then they need a little bit of a better UX. And, you know, you guys saw that in my review, that um, that was one thing that the other tools, I think, probably won is that it can get a little clunky and a little confusing right at first until you actually learn how to use the tool, then it's no problem. Uh, but the UI is definitely not the easiest um, UI or UX um, that I have seen. Um, let's go look at the roadmap. And this is cool. You can go over here and look at the wish list. Um, I think that the tool that they're using is uh, one of the tools that I uh, bought on here as well. I used to have this system where people could go in here and, and, um, you know, rank what videos uh, to do next, but it was just too much to manage on my part. Um, and so I didn't, I didn't continue it, but um, this is a really cool platform. Um, I like how it's organized and so forth. So the wish list, you got topic clusters, automated image, meta descriptions. That would be super cool. Recommended terms for first 100 words, blah, blah, blah. Here's the official roadmap right here. You've got what they're working on now in the short term, what they're working on and long term stuff. And I actually um, saw one in here that they definitely need to do the number of images recommend recommended, right? Um, I'm surprised this tool doesn't have that where it's like you need to have 15 images because that's the average of the top 10, something like that, right? Uh, but you can see all the different things that they are going to do uh, right here. So they do have a public roadmap. I like that as well. So you can go and pick up Neuron Writer. A link will be below and you can stack up to seven codes and get 200 content analysis queries per month. 105 AI uh, credits. Um, obviously, if you used, if you wrote 200 articles, 105 is not going to do the trick. And that's what I always say is use the AI in NeuronWriter to finish um, anything you left out in the first draft or to expand on the article that you already wrote, but definitely writing full length articles in here. Um, you know, you're going to eat up your um, AI credits very quickly. I believe they have add on packages. 
And I don't fault them for that because they they do need to make money somewhere um, and so forth. So uh, you get more with these. Um, if you go into at least the third package multiple, then you're going to get, you know, the plagiarism checker, the WordPress integration, Google Search Console integration. So um, I really do recommend um, hopping on. I came in at one of the smaller packages and then I ended up upgrading to like tier four or five. Um, I have a hundred. So what is that? I think I'm at um, tier four right now, um, but I definitely recommend tier three or higher with this uh, package uh, buying a Neuron, Neuron Rider. So you can go get this right now. It's available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. You don't want to miss out on it this time. All right, so we're going to come over here. This is what their website looks like um, and so forth. And they've got um, you're closing in on 300,000 visitors per month. So it's a well-established uh, business. I'm going to go ahead and log in. I already logged in. And we're going to actually go and look at the one that we were working on uh, in yesterday's video. Um, so we can kind of skip through and we've got, um, we're going to open that up and we have the content that we wrote in um, copy AI and that is already over here. So uh, we're going to look at the SEO uh, function, right? So uh, you're going to be looking at this and once you get to know the tool, then it's, it's super cool. You know, I mean, you, you kind of know where everything is and so forth. So um, and you always have your checklist over here. Um, and you always kind of, you know, I've never really seen this, um, you know, go up uh, in percent, this keyword stuffing risk. But if there was one, if there was a keyword that it, you know, I think that if you have a phrase and you put it in there way too many times, then maybe there might be a keyword stuffing risk um, alert right there. But this will just tell you where you're at right here. Overall score 43 and like what you need to improve on usage of suggested terms is only 25%. So that's where we can get the best bang for our buck. Um, and so like right over here is where we're going to get, uh, and it's also saying our target is 1882. So we're going to add some more words there as well. The readability score is really uh, close on track right there. So that's why we're getting a good score right there. So this will kind of tell you where everything's weighted and so forth. So there's all kinds of different things, but a couple of things that I like to do uh, right off the bat is we'll come over here and I love this. And this is what you know, I haven't used Phrase and Surfer all that much, so I'm sure they have all this um, stuff in there as well. Um, but this is what separates this from all of the other LTDs that I've seen with optimization tools. If we come up here to topic analysis, uh, top analysis, uh, you can come through here and we can actually look at the top 100 if we wanted to. But we're going to look at the content co uh, competition. It's actually getting pretty difficult right there. You have a bunch of different tabs that we can click on through here. And then also we can come right here and start looking at, so you can just, you just push the update button and then you usually refresh and then it will. So what I think that they do right here is that they're not actually going to pull that data, um, fresh data to hit the, their bandwidth and server to, you know, basically that costs money. Um, and they're not going to do that unless you actually need that information, which is smart. Um, if you, if you think about it, so then you click on it again, it's a little annoying though, um, that you have, then you click on that and then you have all the data you need. So little, um, they're, they're asking the user to do a couple extra clicks and a couple extra seconds, but then you get, you know, if you don't have Ahrefs or SEMrush or something like that, then you have a lot of data right here that you can at least look at. You don't have to go and open up Uber suggest or do, you know, um, a key search and all this to just to look at the keyword you can already look at where their content is um, what their page authority i usually look at domain authority right here and so the fact that i can see a 20 right there and a 20 right there it means that there's definitely room for us to rank in the top 10 we've got a 20 um, so uh, there's definitely at least two opportunities. Uh, maybe this 40 right here might be an opportunity as well, but they have the best content. And that tells me that, so they don't have the highest DA um, and it doesn't look like they have any backlinks uh, right here. So the page external link. So this is to the page. So this tells me if we can get this score right here and we can get a couple good backlinks, we should be able to rank in the top three for this keyword. So <clears throat> this is one of my favorite features is you can use this for the SEO feature. You can see um, the backlinks right here. Now you can't look it up what backlink they have, but <clears throat> at the end of the day, it's not a backlink strong. Um, uh, someone spammed the hell out of this one right here with over a thousand links to just that one page. Um, but like right here, there are pages right here with, um, with zero backlinks, right? And this one is a DA of 30 with terrible um, content score right here. 
um, and has no backlinks. And then I'm going to go with the readability and the content length over here. That's I think that that's character length. So we're going to go with word length right here. And they have a thousand word article and a readability score of 48, which is on track of where it's going to be at. So there's definitely this, this gives us enough information that we can be like, okay, I think that we can rank for this keyword. Um, definitely the DA twenties and the no backlinks and the poor content. Um, there's only one green content showing up. Um, anything over, over 60 is pr uh, pretty good content. I would say, um, uh, when it's, you know, being graded by a neuron writer but there's definitely room for us to rank. So you can come through here and competitors structure, and we can look at um, all their different um, H2s and H3s right here. We're also gonna be able to get this information from another um, uh, tool um, as well, but this is uh, cool. Then you can look at the schema explorer right here. I mean, you can get really, really uh, in depth right here. So this is what the top ranked um, looks like, and all you can get all kinds of information. Um, what's going on on their ranking pages. You can go to the title. Um, that was actually cool right over here, schema. You can actually take, you know, JSON and take that one off and so forth. You can show images right here, and it's going to actually show the images on those pages as well. Super cool. Um, then you can go over to title right over here. You can look at the top ranking titles and the title length, and you could go and grab one of these and have AI just rewrite you a version of that or something like that, or just change a couple words out. Um, so this is just a lot of information that is helpful for you to build your content. We've got your meta descriptions right here. You can just grab it and have it rewritten. So technically speaking, you could go and grab um, one of these right here. And we already have one, but you could just copy this and you could go back over and place that into the meta and then change a couple words. I recommend don't copy, just copy and paste. Um, but then you have your H1s, you have your H2 headers right here. So you could actually go and use this to, um, you could just have a notepad on the side. And if this is the way you want to look at this, cause you can see some people will like looking at this uh, a little bit better. Um, because then you would be able to come in here and just copy and paste, um, these the way that they look like that. Um, this is because this is the, it already is breaking out, um, all of the H, uh, H2s for you. And this is, um, I have tools um, installed like SEO minion and things like that, that uh, do this and you have to download it into an Excel file and so forth. And this tool just has it really easily for you. So, um, they have so much for SEO. It's just crazy. Here's their H H three headers as well. So then you have your competitors breakdowns right here. Okay. So then you can go and just look at, I want to look at their, um, their page links and I want to look at their domain authority. And so you can actually come through here and see, um, based on all the, um, like the top 10, where they're at, like the domain authority. So you can see these charts right here. So you can see that there's a 20 there and a 20 there. So this gives you overall kind of a, a graphical, um, uh, look at this, which is cool. And you can go into content volume, content quality. I mean, just, there's a lot, you can even go to content score right over here and have the content score. So there's some that are just really bad content scores and so forth. So um, really cool. Then you can just move over here to SERP layout and features right over here. Um, they all have images right here. None of them have videos. So if you wanted to kind of stand out from the crowd, this is a perfect way to look at the fact that none of them, only one of them has a table. Um, and none of them have iframes. So I would go and I would add a table to the content and a video, and that will help you to possibly stand out. Now you have related keywords. You can click on related keywords. You're going to get all these related keywords lists right here. And there's just multiple pages right there, 140 right there. And then content terms, you can go and you can filter these, uh, you can copy these and so forth. So you get, uh, um, more than enough of SEO data that you would ever need to write a piece of content. Um, it's actually can be overwhelming how much content um, or information that they give you. Um, so my uh, best practices is that I would just cling to a couple things in the SEO area, right? Because we haven't even gone over to the next tabs over here, right? So this is how intricate and detailed you actually get. Now, if you upload your site, then, um, it, like if you have a site that's related to spring camping tips, then it will actually, and I've showed this in other videos, it's going to actually look at your website and tell you what internal links you should um, put in the article. 
um, and which ones you should link out to. And it's going to actually provide that information right here. So that's a super, one of my favorite tools to use is the internal link suggestions tool. Next content ideas. Um, it also has that it has Google search console. You can hook that up and then it has, uh, you can make comments right here to kind of keep track of what you're doing. You can manage your teams, all kinds of good stuff. So we're going to go back over here. So now that you know all of that SEO stuff, the way that kind of the workflow that I go with is I go over to the meta description and we'll come over here and we'll kind of look at um, trying to add some more of these keywords. Uh, you could actually come over here and grab these keywords right here and you can do some cool stuff like um, we'll come back over here. We'll open up chat GPT real quick and I'll just say um, write me a meta description that is 160 characters in length and the topic is and then what we'll do is we'll come back over here spring camping tips is really like the topic spring camping tips and make sure to include these uh, keywords and then I'll put a colon there and then we will go back and we will grab these right here and it will take a little cleanup because there's no like easy way to copy them without getting the um, you know these parentheses things right here so so it'll just take a second but uh, it's well worth it all right so we've got those then let's push the enter button there get essential tips for early spring camping with KOA uh, camping blog. Um, I don't know if that one actually had a KOA. Oh, KOA camping blog right there. Yep. It does have it in there. So it did do that for us. We'll go ahead and copy that. Um, we'll see how many it actually showed up with. Oh, that's, that was actually the title. Sorry guys. Um, but you get the point. So you grab those and you could paste that in. Um, that is uh, where our title is. Um, you could try to 10, um, like right here, you could say essential and it's going to go up because we just added essential, right? And then our score is going to go up as well. Um, essential, uh, top essential, top 10 essential early spring camping tips. You should know this should highlight as well. So, um, we're really kind of going after that right there. Um, and then you can go right here, spring camping. Um, so you can say something like take your next spring camping trip, um, with confidence with our essential spring camping tips something like that. I mean, look, so we just literally put a bunch of those in there, spring camping tips and so forth. So I start there and then we go back over to the content. And then what we're going to do is we're going to aim for, uh, always aim for at least the medium right here, right? Um, of a 56, but we know that we need to get into the sixties because when we come back over here and notice that auto saves, I like that. Um, but when we come back over here, this is what we're really going to kind of target. If we could, if we could get at least 70 and some backlinks, we would have a chance of ranking in the top three, I think. So, uh, then you would come back and you would just start adding more content. So, um, we can do all kinds of different things here. And one thing that I've done, um, before is I'll come down here and I will take these basic terms right here and I'll filter um, not used. So now we're looking at not used and then, um, we'll go ahead and copy all visible terms to clipboard copy and maybe just open up a notepad right here. So we have all of these, uh, right here really easily. I'll just kind of open this up right here. And then what we'll do is I don't use the H ones. So we're just going to remove those. And then we have the H two header terms. Now we could use those but I'm actually going to come down and delete those right now as well. We're going to use the basic terms first, and they're going to just try to knock out these ones that are not <clears throat> being used in basic. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to say, write a couple paragraphs for an article about um, spring camping tips and include all these 
keywords. And then I'll put those in right there and then enter. And it's going to do a better job. The, the more often you do this, the, the least amount of these that you use. Um, so it's just going to write us a couple more paragraphs. And, you know, this is kind of filler fluff content, but this is how we're going to get that SEO score up. And you can choose a different way. Um, you can also, you know, it would be ideal to do this during the writing process and you would be able to have, um, you know, so right here I said a couple. I'm actually next time we're just going to specify two. But we can go and copy this in. Um, and but what I was going to allude to was that it would be ideal to include these NLP key, uh, keywords right uh, inside of each one of these headers that you got from your outline right so it's it flows better right but this is just for example purposes how we can get this SEO score up so now I'm going to go ahead and just paste that in right there we've got some more content coming in and we just went from a 46 to a 56 just like that we just increased it 10 points because under basic we literally just nailed it that means that it literally took that and it added every single keyword that we wanted it to so then now what we can do is we can come back through and we can just say um we can go ahead and grab more right here and I'm just going to go and grab maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe we'll just do ten at a time and maybe that will be good. Or you can grab more if you want. I'm just going to grab ten and I'm going to just say write another paragraph and include all of these keywords. And I'm going to paste those in and push enter and let it go to work. And this is how we're going to use, um, you know, when we come back to Neuron Writer and we go back over to our checklist, which is at the top up here. At any time you can come up here to the checklist and you're going to see that the most room that we have for improvement is going to be in the usage of suggested uh, terms right here, right? Um, h1 and h2 headers we can improve those uh, as well and we'll go and do that a little bit too but definitely the usage of the suggested terms is where we have the most you know ceiling to work with and then um where another thing that i'm seeing right here is we need extended text um we are not at the word right here yet and then also um the h1 and h2 headers okay so we'll come back over here we'll grab this um um content that it wrote for us and we'll copy that so we'll come back over here so as you can see this is uh takes more time look at 56 and where's it going to go now 56 to 60 all right so we've still got 10 more to go but now um, we're getting this massive chunk of text so let's go and see where we can improve um with the terms in headers right over here all right so this is terms and headers and we've got h2 right over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to also copy these and I believe we already had those possibly that it already grabbed those for us. Um, but we already did all of these. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove those right there. So we still have a bunch of keywords right here that we can use, but I'm going to go ahead and re push return on that. And I'm going to come back up here and we're going to paste all these other ones right here for the um, H1 and the H2s. I don't want to use um, H1s. I usually just don't do that. Um, and so it basically just pasted everything for us again, right? So we're going to go ahead and grab all these. Uh, so you just kind of have to stay organized. Uh, it's not a big, not a big deal, really. Extended terms. Um, we're going to go right here. All right. So here's the H2 headers um, that we can now try to work in to our content. So another thing, let me show you how we can use the, um, the writer inside of here. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, get that on my screen like that. So now we have these H2s over here. I'm going to come back over here and we're going to just grab something early spring camping. Uh, let's say spring camping desi uh, destination. Let's just say that that's a term that we're going to use as an H2. I'm going to grab that and make it an H2 right now. Uh, you do need to, you know, you generally at least capitalize the first right there. And I usually try to stay consistent with whatever else is going on in the article. So we do need to capitalize these. 
And then you can do a couple different things. So I noticed that there's this, you can just open up AI writing right here and they have all kinds of stuff right here. Look at all of this right here. Wow. They have a topical map, content plan, uh, expand text. Um, they have just all kinds of good stuff. And so I'm going to go ahead and just say, um, let's go expand text real quick. And I'm going to throw that in right there. And I'm going to actually take this down because we're really just trying to optimize. Um, and so I'm going to say generate right here. There's even settings right here for creativity and the quality and so forth. But this is how you can just literally use their writer. One great spring camping destination is Joshua Tree National Park in California. The weather is blah, blah, blah. So it's perfect. You can even do a miniature top five or top 10 right there. But we'll say copy to editor right there. It did copy it all as an H2. So I'm going to go ahead and just return right there. Grab the text and make it normal. So um, our uh, content just went up a notch, right? So then you can come over here and you can just delete that, right? So spring camping planning. So now we're going to grab this. We're going to copy that. We are going to come down here and I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to make this an H2 and I'm going to just leave it for now so we can speed through this. And I'm going to go ahead and push enter here and then I'm going to open up the AI writer again. And I'm going to just throw that in right there and say generate. And we are at a 62 right now because we put that in. Um, so I don't think adding this text and that's why I just want short text right here. So that is um, quite a bit of text to add, but we already generated it. So we may as well copy it to the editor. Okay. So then um, we are now at a 63. So I'm going to go ahead and push enter there. And this is a way that you can improve the H2, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do some more, but you can see that's exactly what I'm doing over here. I'm going to pause the video and come back. I was just going to say, so this is opening up the AI writing and actually specifically using some of the new modules that they've created that I actually haven't used um, until now. But um, the way before is super easy. You can just highlight your H2, right? So highlight your H2 right here. And then just push the um, AI writing and then you'll have all these options right here. You can expand and so forth. But right now, start paragraph. Um, please select 20 to 200 characters. Okay, so we need just a little bit more camping essentials um, to make your camping trip amazing, right? So now we're going to highlight this. And then we're going to say AI writing and start paragraph. And then it's going to go and it's going to write for us. And it's going to pop up with the writing in just a second. Okay. So start paragraph. You can add more keywords in right there, but we're just going to leave it the way it is. So it's still um, kind of iframes over and you're going to write the content and it's going to give you your option. And then you're going to add it to the editor. Um, I still was not able to get um, to where um, it, it didn't do this part right here. We're just going to grab that and make it normal. Uh, we're up to a 65 right now. And then you can go camping essentials. Uh, you can just leave that because we're still getting the benefit of the camping essentials in an H2 tag. Um, so this is how you kind of do it. Um, now you just use that one and I'm just push delete there, right? And here's one that I can see that there is rain showers and there's um, uh, check the weather. So we can actually make an H2 that includes both of those. Check the weather for rain showers. I'm going to highlight that, make it all H2. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to push return and go to open um, the writer. And I think that this actually works better than the start paragraph thing. Um, it's faster. It seems to be faster. And then we've got that. And then we just moved up another spot. So you can see once you make it to this point, when you're over 60, you're going to every single time you do something, you're only going to move up like a point. OK, now you can continue doing the process and you could just grab all these keywords, you know, at once and you could just have um, you can just have chat GBT add them all in there and you're going to um, move up. But um, once you get to these higher scores, um, even doing that still seems to be kind of slow down a little bit, if you will. But right here, we're going to go right here. Spring, spring temperatures make this and H2. So you can see how there's not going to, this is a perfect tool to optimize. We're well over on the content now, which is good. Spring temperatures and um, wet weather. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to say start paragraph um, right here. Why is it doing that? Okay. So let me I think I have to maximize um, for some reason it's having a hard time 
Yeah, see like right now this is it's a little buggy. This isn't working for us. That button's just not working for us. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to open up the AI writer. And the reason why I wanted that to use the expanded be, is because you can actually add keywords in there that you want it to uh, use. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just So you can see we knocked out spring temperatures, wet weather. Uh, we also, and then what we'll do is I'm just going to go ahead and grab um, a little bit more of these keywords here. And just to finish this up, we're going to go back in here, write two paragraphs, including these key words. So you can see that this isn't just one click and then publish. If you want to have the content that's going to be SEO optimized like this to this level, you are going to have to put the time into it. It's going to take 30 minutes. It's going to take up to an hour. Um, and that's with artificial intelligence uh, content. And this is how you're going to increase your chances of a ranking. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this and come back over here to Neuron Writer, throw this in down here. And our 67 is going to go up to 72. Okay, we are looking really good. So we just used those right there. And I'm going to say, I'm just going to go ahead and grab waterproof matches and put that up here as well. And we can just make this like an H3 and we can open up the AI writer. And you can see how I, um, instead of just waterproof matches, I'm giving the AI a little bit more context by saying for camping in the spring and push generate right there. So this is your crash crash course on using um, this, it's actually going to give us the top four, um, matches. That's really cool. Um, but this is, you know, this is how you would use it to optimize all the way. I'm going to go ahead and make that normal. And then we're going to go ahead and re remove that. And then we're going to go ahead and remake this in H3. I don't know why it's doing that. All right. We went through different processes. Um, so we're not doing just the same thing as well right? Each time we're using the uh, rewrite paragraph button and including all these terms. And then we're adding H2s from up here. We're, uh, we're using the AI writer in here. So uh, we're using a kind of a combination of everything. And we just move this to a 74. So that is good right there. We would just grab these and push delete. So then you have all these keywords, you can continue working. So that's kind of how I do it, guys. We got this. Um, I did this live right in front of you. You've got a 3000 word post. We've got a 74 uh, score right here. We can come through and look at that. There's still room if we wanted to, um, but we're looking pretty good right there and so forth. So um, the readability score went down and the target's 46. So we would need to probably go through this and adjust uh, some of this, rewrite it into human uh, or add a little bit more human touch to it. But we do have a 74 right here. I'm going to go ahead and push save and we're going to go look at this one more time. So that 74 is going to be the best content out of the top 10 over here. And then we're going to go ahead and go probably buy a backlink or two, uh, maybe a, you know, a high quality backlink. And we're really going to have a chance of outranking right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is, um, you know, kind of specifically how to use Neuron Writer for SEO. You're going to have the internal links you're going to want to add and so forth. But hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this is uh, like you get the feeling, right? Because this took a really long video in order to show you how to actually optimize this content. Um, and it took a while. It took work to actually get this score to go up to a 74 and be the, the, the new best score. Um, it doesn't just, you don't just paste it in there and then it's done, right? It, ta it takes some time to get there. Um, uh, but I think that you'll find that it's well worth it. And this tool is definitely, um, really, really good. Um, I have a lot of case studies of doing this exact method and ranking the content, uh, number one in Google. So hope you guys enjoyed this and got value from it. If you did just hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Learn Wire, go ahead and uh, subscribe. I usually do software reviews and software tutorials like this one. So I'll see you in the next video.